What you're about to hear is an excerpt from our weekly podcast. It's available right now to our Patreon supporters over at www.patreon.com forward slash pretty good gaming and it goes live to everyone else right here on our YouTube channel a week later. Enjoy. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about the future of Battlegrounds because um, we've all played it now. We're having a lot of fun yeah, playing it. It's very yes. good. And um, we foresee playing it well into the future. They've made some announcements as to what the future will be like. Um, they've announced that they will have 2D and 3D match replays, so a 2D top down. Um, uh, replay as well as a 3D in-engine replay. With I really a, want that. With a floating can't wait camera. For that. Obviously, it's that the kind of GTA 5 thing where um, machinima they call it, isn't it? When you yeah. make um, gameplay um, kind of cinematic videos mm -hmm. out of gameplay yeah. um, after the fact. So we're excited for that, I guess. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, like I, I'm always saying about this game, one of the best things is that you can like make your own cinematic moments yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And so the the ability to capture that, and you know, sometimes what you do is cinematic. But have you ever wondered like you've been killed and you're like, oh, where the hell has that guy come from? He could have popped a wild good shot off at you from yeah. a yeah. mile away. I always and I want to see that sometimes. Whenever I, I die, know. I always imagine that the other guy's amazing, and I'm yeah. like, where's he come? <laughs> where how's he got that? Yeah, that, you know that yeah. asshole. I mean, you know. For, that's a, that's a different thing from um, learning ab about the game and how to play play the game and learning from other people. And just analysing your own play—that's yeah. that's a tool for that as well. You know, as well yeah. as being able to make cinematic things out of. So yeah, very much looking forward to that. Was that from E3? Was it? Was it these? these that was um, Brendan Green, who was player unknown. I think he um, he did mention it during the E3. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, when he had a, a, an interview with him on stage, obviously that's that's an awesome addition that will be coming. Another uh, thing that I've announced recently is the zombies mode, oh, which yeah. is uh, PvP. So zombies, player zombies as well as player um, regular players. Um, how it will work, I don't know. It was inspired, um, I, I think, by some streamers. We watched some of the footage. Um, yeah, Jack Frags and that lot, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, they made a mod because you can host your own servers now. They made a mod where they had um, some of their watchers um, participating as zombies, where yeah. they couldn't um, equip any proper weapons other than melee weapons. It wasn't quite zombies, but it, apparently it inspired Blue Hole to make a zombies mode. How it will, um, how they'll implement it is another question. So we do know that there's not, it's not going to be like 50 players, 50 zombies. It's going to be one side, doesn't it? It's going to be like more like. 20 people and 80 zombies. Uh, that's one thing I've seen. I, I know it's not going to be, it's going to be like handicapped to one side. Well, that's interesting though. So, I mean, it would be great if you could turn players into zombies. That's what I was going to say. So you'd yeah. start with a, sh a very small amount of zombies. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I would have, you know, I, thought, I don't know how, you know, how easy that would be. But, you know, bear in mind, players land unarmed. Yeah. Um, there is that brief window where, you know, if a zombie's got, you know, strong and melee abilities and stuff mm -hmm. like that, they could overpower like an unarmed player, yeah. even a player with a pistol or something, yeah. you know, quite easily. Yeah. Then you could just spread that population yeah. quite quickly. It might be difficult on the on the huge map that we've got currently. Yeah. Um, if they in implement, we'll, we'll talk about um, new maps in a little bit, but if they have smaller maps, it might be easier to yeah. um, for zombies to get a foothold if they start with a smaller number, for instance. Uh, the next thing that they have announced, uh, and they've got a trailer for, uh, is vaulting too. Um, so yeah, this is there's a, a, there is a trailer for vaulting. Over that stuff. was funny, wasn't it? it out, is of, well out of context, yeah. if you don't know yeah. what this game is, you'll be like, "Yeah, honestly, well, honestly, this? Liam, it's, it's great." Exciting. Okay, it's, it's, it's exciting. Exciting. a big Thor deal. Thoroughly excited. It'll yes, ramp yes. up the gameplay so fast. There's so many times yeah. you've died because there's a there's a little waist high wall. Can if up, you could you? do a little. Yeah. You know, yeah. that was a sound of you, vault, It's very easy to make an arse out of yourself trying to yeah. get over a fence. It's going to change the um, strategy of the game too because you know currently if there's a picket fence, people can't traverse it so yeah. that, or, or a wall or something. Mm. But vaulting shows that they can get over like even head height walls. Mm. If, if you can see an enclosed area, then then they're not confined to that anymore. Yeah. So um, that that affects the strategy as well and how you how you're approaching taking someone down, for instance. So that's one of the one of the biggest most uh, most needed part um, Im <laughs> improvements to the game. I think it's a it's a cause for a huge frustration for a lot of people and it'll make the game look a lot smoother too. Yeah, it looks a bit junky it, yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. help with that a lot. It's all part of the uh, smoothing out process, I guess, isn't it? Just all these little things, vaulting, it's like, all right, vaulting. How you react to an like object that deal. high, like, yeah. you know, it's a fast paced game and you're like, <sighs> Blocked by like yeah. a little fence, so yeah, the, that will make and the game so much we, more. We maybe haven't pointed out yet. It is in early access, so that's the, yeah, that's why this yeah. kind of stuff is still coming out. Uh, yeah. And the, the they, they've got a huge um, push for polishing things before releasing them. And obviously, there's a yeah. lot of pressure. They can't just release any old update, update it any, any old mm. way. 
they've got to make a playable version of the game. Yeah. Um, so uh, you don't know how it affects other things, do you? Either when you with with all these kind of things, when you add something, you know, how's it? it you, there's so many like things going on in a game under the hood. Like you don't mm. know how it's going to affect like you know clipping and collision and stuff. Yeah. If you say you can go over a fence, then yeah, what you know what can't you go over? Can you yeah. vault over rocks and all that stuff? So yeah. it takes ages. Yeah. <laughs> it's vaulting so funny, everyone out of context. This is so <laughs> yeah. fucking ridiculous. If you don't like, play the a game. trailer for jumping in a game, but it's so exciting yeah. if you play it. So yeah. if you're not aware of it, you've just got to trust us on this one. It's I, a big deal. I it? think it speaks volumes for the um, the enjoyment they can get out of a game that doesn't include vaulting and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> get, the game itself is so good yeah. that you don't even yeah. need to, yeah. be able to get over. Very shit. true. Very true. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, Kill Cam was announced too. So how are they going to implement this? I, this Ooh, this is yeah. like, I've only started playing this about a week ago, and that was for like one of the first things. The first emotional reaction I had was I want to. What? How did I die? I want to see yeah. how I died. I They've want to got see to this. Be careful with this yeah. because let's say there's four of you in a squad, or four, there's four people. I can't imagine I am this guy. So let's imagine you're a good player at Battlegrounds. <laughs> there's four guys in a squad in a house. You kill one of them. That guy that died then can see where you are yeah. and then tell his teammates. Yeah. So well, they've got to be very careful with implementing were, that. If you can leave it till a squad is wiped, that would be the solution. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be the smart way to do it. Because yeah. if it was just every kill had a kill cam, it would give away a lot of positions and that, it would really be unfair for you know the, yeah. the Rambos out there. No problem in the single player mode, obviously. You, yeah, you die, totally. you, you get to see the kill cam. But that's, that is the best suggestion I think so far. That I've seen is you know when when the whole squad dies or when both of you die if you're doing yeah. a duo, um, that's when you get to see everyone's kill cam. Because you and, and again, we need to point out you can win as a team. It's, it yeah. is like a battle royale, but you can win as as a group of four, even if it's just one guy left. Yeah. Like you, you yeah. St still get the win. Like yeah. so, like like we did the other day, we went as a team, didn't we? Jay? we yeah, we, all, got, we got chicken dinner on Sunday. All, well, all, all of us survived. All of us survived. Yeah. but we can do it where. Just so I put that out there that um, we, yeah, we, we were, got chicken dinner on yeah. Sunday. So. Uh, that was a great time. Sunday well, dinner, yeah. Um, they've also announced two new maps. Um, one smaller urban space in the middle of a desert. Interesting. Um, which which would be great for me. I love I love um, buildings and going door to door. Mm. And um, I, I remember Mel. So that, that that says to me that they, there's an armor expansion that was in the desert somewhere. So they've probably really? they're looking at what assets they've already got for armor and yeah. stuff, and just like how can we? Which is obviously what they've done with um, with the, the you know the map that you've already got is. is it's yeah. like they've taken stuff from yeah. Armour 2 and stuff. So that's cool. That's a I'm interested in like different sizes of maps too. Yeah, me too, yeah. The, the size of the map we've got is, is absolutely huge. And how, yeah. how with a smaller map, how do they um, change that? So, you know, because the, the, the area gets gradually smaller. Yeah, mm -hmm. how do you balance the... Yes. Uh, yeah, will, the will there be less players? I mean, will, there, will it be quicker? There's all these different things that they can add as well yeah. as the map. Yeah. Like, and that will affect the game because that way you can decide within yourself do I want to play a game today that's going to be short fast paced I'll yeah. jump into the urban mm. map do I want to play a longer game I'll jump into the 100 player map yeah. that we've already got so that it's good because it means that you've got a lot of options yeah. there you know even just I would have thought yourself. I would have thought a map with more buildings more like just as the same amount of loot but compressed down you yeah. could you could handle 100 players on that yeah. Um, yeah so that in itself I think is a great thing but also in addition I think a smaller map for 50 people or for smaller for like 25 people if you do want a shorter game if you only got like 10 minutes yeah. or even like a, a 4v4 thing where it's just a, a small area yeah. I, I don't know how that would would play out whether it, whether it retain a lot of the same excitement and tension mm. as the bigger map but yeah. um, I don't know I'm, I'm interested to see what they can come up with because it's just one map at this stage. Like they can come yeah. up with so many, there's so many possibilities. And anyway, moving on, the other map they've announced is a larger map near the Adriatic Sea, featuring a huge cosmodrome in the middle. Oh, wonderful! Which is like a, a launch pad for a space shuttle. Yeah, yeah. Those of you who don't know, it's yeah. like a Russian space. My favorite, my favorite game area of any game ever is the cosmodrome from uh, Destiny. Where it's yeah. just like because they're like a really nice skybox and there's just yeah. like space rockets going off into the distance and stuff. That sounds awesome to me. I'm yeah. really excited about that idea. Like, I, it's it's such it's such a you know it's Eastern European kind of thing. The map now as it is. So mm -hmm. like, how would you how do you make that like you know interesting? How do you not make it the same kind of houses and apartment blocks and yeah. all that stuff over and over and over again? Make it a flipping cosmodrome. Yes, please. I want I want to I want to see that. I want to I want to be sneaking around like wrecked it's, airplanes it's and space that, and stuff. Like Battlefield One, which is the last shooter, not not that close to Battlegrounds, but my favourite maps by far on that were the desert maps. I love desert maps. Yeah. And the fact that there's a desert map going, they seem to have appealed to me <laughs> they already. Yeah. Quite, you know. Yeah. What well, does Jake and Mike want? That's probably what uh, they were thinking. <laughs> Mike hasn't even bought it yet. <laughs> but but it's, quite, it's, quite, it's quite a broad uh, spectrum already. Yeah. I, I think the real success of an online game, uh, there's two ways of doing it, isn't there? Do one thing really, really well. 
or like think about Call of Duty 4 when that came out. Uh, say what you will about Call of Duty. Call of Duty 4 was a huge success, and there was different game modes. Yeah. So we've so what you've said already, we know that there's going to be at least another mode, zombie mode, potentially more. We know that there's at least going to be different maps. And then what we've just been sort of um, thinking about then, if there's different size maps, there's a real variety already in the works that we know of. Mm. Yeah. What we don't know could be even more, you know, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So uh, already that this is looking very promising because it yeah. gives a lot of variety. Some people played Call of Duty 4 and only played Team Deathmatch. Some people only played Sabotage or whatever. So that's what I'm saying. So even if you only like one of these things, you, yeah. you've got a big appeal and I know yeah. that they're going to... Do it well. Yeah. The, yeah. Other, the other thing that they um, announced too during E3 was the different weather. But you now we've, we've got a oh, rainy yeah. map now and we've got a, like a regular map. I think there's, um, there's a foggy mode which is going to take out, um, re severely restrict the snipers out there. Yeah. Um, so that, that gives you a bit more cover at, at longer distances. Yeah. It, um, because, one, you know, if you're in an open field during the game, you're very exposed. Um, this will um, lessen that to a degree you won't be as uh, vulnerable what I'd like to see I mean at the moment it's kind of randomised isn't it you just start a game and it's raining or it's not Yeah, that's how it is mm -hmm. uh, you can't Dynamic. select or, or whatever well yeah but I, I'd like to see it like fog rolling in I'd yeah. like to see like rain starting yeah. I would like to see the conditions change yeah. mid, mid game it would, be a whole, would be it would be a whole other opportunity th for yeah. players so let's say you were in like a field and you saw some fog rolling and you could time your yeah, opportunistic exactly. yeah. run to those uh, you know or it started raining that means like the you know the they won't be able to hear me as well because mm. of the rain and stuff. I'll take my chances now or there's fog coming. I'll run into that fog and then I can get to cover. So it'll, it'll give you a lot more opportunity, yeah. won't it? And it'll yeah. give the you know the people that you're shooting at an opportunity to get away. So that yeah. that it, just adds like, excitement. Exactly. It? It's just a minor change, not minor tweak to the mm. gameplay, but it does change a lot of a lot of the things. Like it takes the advantage away from the people who are good at shooting long range, for instance, and a shotgun is more valuable then in mm. that scenario. So also the other one that they announced was the night mode too. So that's four separate yeah. um, conditions that you could um, be subject to. The rolling weather thing sounds awesome to yeah, me. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be, that'd be interesting. Can you, can you imagine playing a game, you were pinned down, some weather condition would happen and then you'd roll the game and win. Can you imagine being like, oh, we were pinned down, some yeah. fog came in. It just and adds that, it, to that it adds, story. Yeah. Exactly, you, you know, can talk about dynamic stories a game emerge. you played and people will understand it and you'd be like, oh, that's really good. It's yeah. nice to share the, the stories of the, the fun wins and that's the great it. losses. Thanks for watching this podcast extract. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. It's a good idea to subscribe because we put out a new gaming video every day. There's another one on a, on, there's another video on your screens right now if you want to watch that and a link to Patreon if you want to watch the full podcast right now. See you next time.